Let's talk about how we can order these fractions, not from least to greatest, but from greatest to least. In other words, from a high value, the highest value to the lowest value. Before we can do that, before we can order these four fractions, we need to get common denominators. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply each different denominator together to get a common denominator. This may not be the least common denominator, but it will definitely be a common denominator. Even though we have four and two fractions, I'm only gonna use it once when trying to get a common denominator. Four times five is 20, 20 times three is 60. So let's convert each fraction with a new denominator of 60. 60 divided by three is 20. So I'm gonna multiply this fraction by 20 over 20. 60 divided by four is 15. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 15 over 15. 60 divided by 5 is 12. So I'm going to multiply the third fraction by 12 over 12. 60 divided by 4. Well, that's 15 again, so we'll multiply this by 15 over 15. So this will give us the same denominator of 60. Now let's multiply across. 20 times 2 is 40. 20 times 3 is 60. All the denominators will have a value of 60. 15 times 1 is 15, 12 times 4 is 48, 15 times 3 is 45. Now that the denominator of each fraction is the same, all we need to do is look at the value of the numerator to rank the fractions. So we're going from high to low. The highest is going to be 48, and then that's greater than 45 and 45 is greater than 40 and 40 is greater than 15 in that order so now we need to reduce these fractions back to their original form 48 over 60 came from 4 over 5 so let's put 4 over 5 here 45 over 60 came from 3 fourths so that's next 40 over 60 came from 2 over 3 and the last one, 15 over 60, came from 1 over 4. So this is our answer. That's how we can rank fractions from the greatest value to the lowest value. And of course, you could confirm it using the calculator. If you were to type in 4 divided by 5, you'll get 0.8. 3 divided by 4 is 0.75. 2 over 3 is 0.6 repeating. Or we can round that and say 0.67 and 1 fourth is 0.25. So we can see we have it from greatest to least.